soft too. Your leg is staying nicely. Come, step under, and do some circles, because the circles is what's going to help balance him and push his hind legs under. Very good. And even here, you've got to push your bandage down if you had it on you. And then a little dip, 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 dip of your inside, just to say, come on, big guys. There you go. You're on the road. That's very good. Yep, a little dip, 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 dip. When you start to feel him nice, then you micromanage it with your leg saying, come on, buddy, keep coming under, keep coming under. Step your bandage, change direction. Plan out a change. That's very good. Looks much easier. So push that bandage to the floor and then find your arms again and use a little leg on the inside. Come, 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 come. Good, and then make sure, yeah, make sure your hand isn't in his way on the inside. You can flex him and push your bandage down. Find your outside rein. You don't have to throw it away so much, okay? Keep it low and kind of near his wither. Low, there you go. Elbows are bent, super. And your hip is sending him into the contact. So when you post, really feel like you post with like a lot of like strength. You're not posting fast and wild, but like your bum. Your bandage. Yeah. Yeah, make sure your outside leg is soft every now and then. And then again, your hip pulls him under to the soft contact. There you go. Your hip pulls him up and under. When you're ready, come down to like E and B again, and let's do a left canter. But when I, no, a girl. Nice. Knee and thigh are soft, and your hip is in the canter. Don't lean. Feel both butt cheeks. Don't lean into one heavier. Good. 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 Good job. Yep. Canter up and under. Little, little tip, 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 tip. Little tips to get a little more hind leg. And your elbows and get your forearms a little farther apart. So your fingers and your arms kind of go numb when you canter. You need to have your elbows and your reins kind of on either side of his neck. Elbows in and widen your forearms a little bit. Elbows closer together, forearms. So when you trot, you've got a nice channel. When you can't, the reins are the same length. Two reins, one leg. Yeah. 